Good evening guys, it's Kevin uh, coming at you with another video. We're going to do some eBay orders today. Uh, we have quite a few of them to get through. It was a pretty good weekend for eBay orders, uh, so let's get right to it. Hi guys, so it's still Thursday night. Uh, I finished packing up all my orders uh, from the last video, uh, but I managed to get another another, another order put in, so I'm going to get that packaged up um, and get that sent out tomorrow morning on Friday. So go over here. So it's actually a Samsung uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 uh, that I purchased. Actually, I purchased a long time ago. Uh, I actually used to use this as my, my tablet for the longest time, uh, but I posted on eBay because I now use iPads and stuff like that. So uh, I just switched around. So there it is. All in all, it's actually pretty good, pretty good condition. Um, it works great still. Uh, it's got some scuffing, but it does have a screen protector on it. It also comes with a charger. So uh, I posted that on eBay, and I got forty-four ninety-nine uh, free shipping. So nice little, nice little sale. All right, guys. So the first order I'm actually going to pull today. Uh, I cheated a little bit. I already pulled it um, just to save some time because actually. I'm running out of room to put stuff, especially with my recent uh, thrifting and retail arbitrage videos. So I actually have some stuff stored away uh, elsewhere. Um, but one of the items that uh, did sell uh, was from that video and is one of the really cool items. I kind of gave you guys a little sneak peek of the last video uh, was the Buzz Lightyear. So I paid $26.98 for it at Target that was on clearance, and ultimately I ended up selling it for sixty-six uh, ninety-nine free shipping. All right, so the second thing, second thing that we're gonna pull is some uh, Fuji film, uh, thirty-five millimeter uh, film that I picked up actually from Goodwill uh, for only a dollar. It was in the last video. So it's four brand new rolls of the uh, extra 400 and we ended up selling it for $10 free ship so it should actually turn probably like a $5 profit so not bad. Alright so the next thing that we're going to pull is actually uh, the calculator from the previous video uh, the Texas Instrument BA2 uh, which actually, considering I just put this stuff in here, uh, it should be right here. Pretty easy to spot. So, uh, like I said, I paid 40 cents for this. And I sold it for $11 uh, free shipping. So not, not too bad. Alright, so next up we actually have an item that uh, I've had for a while, but I just haven't listed it at all on eBay. Um, but ultimately I actually posted only a couple days ago uh, and it just sold uh, today. It is a, a space shooter target game, a spaceship. Uh, it's kind of like foam discs that you shoot. Since I actually just got it, I posted it right here. So, And I did buy this at a garage sale. I only paid a dollar for it. I do remember that. Uh, it was the same garage sale that I actually picked up a uh, two-hearted ale hat for Bell's Brewery, which is one of my favorite beers. So uh, for this, I ended up getting $15.99 uh, free shipping. So not too bad for a dollar investment. All right. So next up, we have a um, Star Wars Darth Vor or Darth Vader plug and play uh, that I actually picked up at a garage sale. I'm pretty sure I only paid uh, like. 50 cents for it, probably not even a dollar. Um, but I tested it, does work. 
Uh, it's a very unique game. Probably not any anything like any other Star Wars game that I've played before. It's quite frankly, I don't think it's a very good game. But I ultimately got nine dollars and forty nine cents free shipping, so not too bad. All right, next up we have a Funko Pop. Uh, I already cheated and I pulled the box down because it's actually on the second box on the bottom. I didn't want you guys to see me struggle that bad. So I already pulled the box. So what we're looking for is a Teen Titan Go Robin figure. Oh, it's right there. So this figure looks like it was, it was taken out of the package at some point so I did that specify that it had markings on the face. Um, but surprisingly, this figure actually goes for an okay amount. I did, this was a part of the $200 Funko lot uh, that I purchased. And I sold this figure for $19.99 uh, free shipping. All right, so next up we have a video game. Uh, for the Wii, we have Mario Strikers Charged. I picked this up at a thrift store and I pretty sure I definitely overpaid for it uh, at the time I thought it kind of actually went for a little bit more money than what I paid for it but uh, I did pay five bucks at the thrift store for it I'm glad that I actually got uh, my money back at least out of it so ultimately not too bad I did sell it for $6.99 plus shipping um, so I should be able to at least about recoup my money back for it. All right, so next up we have a uh, remote control. It is a Orion uh, VCR remote. Uh, I picked this up actually in a lot, probably about six months ago of, um, of remote controls. And so far that lot actually has done pretty well for me. I think I I'm already in the positive on that. I did, I think this is the one, or this is the one. I did sell off quite a few of them already. Uh, purchased a big lot of, I believe, like 40 remotes for 10 bucks. And so I ended up uh, picking this one up and I sold it for uh, $8.59 free shipping. So not too bad. Alright, so next up is actually one of my favorite items that I sold. Uh, I picked this up at Goodwill for 7 bucks, and it was something I actually had as a kid. Uh, it's a Tyco Python RC truck. And the really cool thing about it... Yeah, it's that one. So the really cool thing about it is... It's a python that pops up. It can actually spit water uh, with a remote control. And so, as you can see, uh, it came with the controller, the truck, and then a charger and two batteries. So, um, like I said, I paid seven bucks for it and I sold it for $45 plus shipping on top of that. So. Uh, it was an awesome little deal. I'm kind of sad to see it go because it is actually kind of fun to play with. Um, but in this business, you can't really hold on to that much. You got to keep keep going. All right. So next up, we have a portable DVD player. It's a Sylvania uh, SDVD 7040B 7-inch LCD. I picked this up at a garage sale. I was actually on my way up north uh, with the kids to just spend the day or spend the weekend up there, uh, Memorial Day, and we ended up stopping at a garage sale. And this was actually one of the two portable DVD players that I picked up <clears throat> from that sale. Uh, they were selling them for three dollars each, so it was a pretty good little score. Plus, it came with a little, a little power cable. I ended up, like I said, paid three bucks for it. I ended up selling it for twenty dollars plus free shipping. Uh, it is pretty light. I'm probably just going to be over a pound, so it'll end up going priority instead of first class. All right, and the last thing that we're actually going to pick up 
is a Crayola. Let's see here. Yeah, Crayola Crayon Maker. Uh, picked this up at a garage sale or yard sale. I uh, did pay a dollar for it along with a, a nice, a really cool Mustang belt buckle uh, that I sold um, probably several months ago. But this was brand new actually in the box. It's all the way up there. So hopefully I don't destroy this as I take it out. As you can see, the box is actually beat to hell. Um, but all the contents inside are actually brand new still uh, in the packaging. So like I said, I paid, actually I didn't pay a dollar, I paid two dollars I think for it. <clears throat> and I'm selling it for fifteen dollars plus shipping. So. Ultimately, that, that was a good little sale. Alright guys, so that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like the video, subscribe as well. Uh, if you didn't like the video, I'll try harder next time. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.